world of machine design. There are many traditions and methods carved in stone. That was until a new player emerged. Let me explain. Marketing and sales. Here is an average salesperson at an excavator shop. One day a customer calls in, demanding to get a test ride in the next year's excavator model. Salesperson now has a choice to make. He can show the customer the printed marketing material and tell the customer that the test model won't arrive until six months from now. Or, he can sit the customer to a simulator bench and load up the latest table release from R&D department Digital Twin. Mechanical engineering. Here are two average mechanical designers at an average excavator building company. They have a disagreement about the design. Does the positioning of the boom cylinder fixing point allow enough leverage or not? They now have a choice to make. Are they going to keep escalating their arguments? Or are they going to load the digital twin and check the capacity of the boom with both designs? Automation engineering here is an excavator assembler at an excavator assembly line. An average automation engineer has just finished first draft of the excavator control system software for the new machine. The assembler informs the automation engineer. It is going to be another six months until the excavator will be ready for testing. The automation engineer now has a choice to make. Will he spend the next six months trying to picture in his head how the machine will work? Or will he load up the digital twin, attach the control system and test his software almost as thoroughly as with a real prototype? Operator training. Here is an average excavator contractor in remote sites. He has ordered three units of the newest excavator model. The new models have substantial amount of new key features, which need sophisticated driving technique and a lot of training before conducting the work. Unfortunately, he hears that the ship carrying those excavators will be delayed by six weeks. The whole project schedule is in danger. The contractor now has a choice to make. Will he delay the project schedule and pay the fees of delay? Or will he fly in some real-time training simulators with excavator digital twin? The 
average contractor is still working in the remote sites. One of his new excavators is refusing to cooperate. He calls the excavator manufacturer and demands for service engineer to be on site no later than yesterday. The service engineer now has a choice to make. Will he pack his bags, book a 48-hour flight plan and forget about his life for a couple of months? Or will he download the far-reach machine diagnostics for his digital twin and make the troubleshooting from his home? Here is an average R&D manager with his team. They are developing an autonomously operating excavator. They have now calculated that the neural networks require 20,000 hours of excavator operational data to be trained properly. R&D manager now has a choice to make. Will he hire a bunch of test drivers and wait for them to collect 20,000 hours of driving data? Or, will he load up the digital twin in expedited time environments and have a script drive the excavator during the nights and weekends? The time of digital transformation has now reached the traditional industry of machine building and the remote region of northern Savonia.